But he knows where you coming from. You coming from love. And I ain't talking about no uh, hugs and kisses. I'm talking about you coming with the truth. Mm -hmm. And you, you ultimately care for that brother's soul like the elders and apostles care for our souls. Right? Because we all we all one body. And in order for us to be one body, we got to be on the same same page. That's right. Uh, getting into Philippians 1 and 27. Only let your conversation be, be as it becometh the gospel of Yahweh Shai, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. What's the gospel? The good news, mm -hmm. right? The fact that, that Esau is about to be taken down. That's right. The fact that the kingdom of heaven will be right here on this planet. Right? And that, Lord willing, we're going to be ruling. And, and if we are of that number, the hopeful elect, we're going to get beamed out of here and saved from this destruction to come. Because there is a destruction to come. And it's going to be hot fire uh, through, the, through uh, ICBM missiles. Uh, also, you know, them chariots going to come and tear this place up too. Right? right? And we want to be saved from that. We yeah. fear we fear the power of Yahweh Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. We ultimately fear his power. And we desperately want to be saved on them chariots. Right? With everything in our soul, we want to please the Heavenly Father. Right? Number one, because we love him and, we, and, and it's in us to do that. Right? Lord willing, we're part of that number. But also because he put it in us to be that way, to to to, to make that our ultimate sac our ultimate goal. To make these small sacrifices to end up on a chariot because the things that we're doing now don't compare to the glory that's to come for us mm -hmm. right it doesn't compare the small things that we're doing ain't got ain't even close to what what the glory of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to give us right that that crown and that penny and to live in ultimate righteousness on this planet earth and rule over these other nations that is a that is not a small thing but what we're doing is a small thing right this is what we're called to do this is what we're told to do mm -hmm. uh, ephesians 4 and 1 through 6. It's like it. let me get there all right this is ephesians 4. Uh, and starting at one, I therefore, the prisoner of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. Right? I was just speaking on that. With all lowliness and meekness and long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Isn't that what this brother just said? Right? Forbearing one another in love. This truth. Right? This is the love. These commandments. These laws, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai came to teach, right? This, that's the love, and he says, with all lowliness and meekness, right? That means being humble. We ain't nobody, you know. All we are is what we're called to be. Other than that, there ain't no pride, except for the the the, the there's no pride in, in what we're doing, right? Because. Uh, yeah, how about Shimmy Al-Shai could uh, call up rocks to do this work? You don't need us, right? Our, our righteousness is as filthy rags. Our righteousness is as filthy rags, right? We ain't nobody. So, to come out here and do this is on is honorable, but you got to do it with all lowliness and meekness. Sure. With long suffering, forbearing one another in love, right? So your brother might go off, but you got to forbear that. And and, 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 and and do it do what you can to help that brother get back on track. Or if he needs something, man, drop what you got going on to, to, to help that brother out. Right? Because this is all we got. We ain't got shit in this Salaki. We ain't got nothing in this world. We ain't got nothing left out here. You know, you might you <clears throat> you might have a decent uh, demon, right? But even that, you can't trust that she got your back. The brothers is the only one that's gonna have your back. The brotherhood. Because guess what? We have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and we fear the Lord. Right? And there might be some brothers, you know, some some people that crept in unaware that, you know, those those things will be shown. Right? But as for now, 
until that brother shows that you gotta you 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 gotta be as one. Uh, in verse three, endeavoring and keeping the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace, there is one body and one spirit. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And this baptism is this, uh, the washing of the word uh, of this Bible. This is the baptism. You ain't got to be dunked in no dirty, uh, uh, lead infested water and pulled out and, and start speaking in tongues and this and that. That's not what this is about. Being washed with this word, the word is the water. And as you learn, it's cleaning your spirit. That water is to clean the, the filthiness of the world that you have uh, uh, taken onto yourself. Because we were all once in this world. That's why we're so grateful for this word, because we've tasted of this world. And it's disgusting and it's filthy, and we don't want no parts of that. But we've tasted of this word, and it's delicious. And, and, it's, and, and it's meat, right? Meat, because it, it, it fulfills your soul. It fulfills what you've been missing your whole life if you've been called to do this. Uh, and I'm going to jump real quick. Last scripture, you got something to say? Uh, becoming a new creature. You that's know? right. That, that's what that baptism is all about. You know, uh -huh. It's not that physical carnal, uh, uh, being, like the brother said, being dunked in the water. It's that becoming a new creature, you know, putting out that old man. That's right, uh, the water. Uh -huh. uh, this is John 17 and 20. Uh, let me start at 21. I'll start at 20. Uh, Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they may be one as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee, mm -hmm. that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me. Damn. So that kills that Trinity doctrine, number one. And number two, that's what we're doing out here. One accord, one mind. So if a brother come up against you, like that brothers in LA was going into, Shalom to them, Akim, right? So if a brother come up and, and, and rebuke you, it's out of love. And it's out of getting you to the kingdom. So don't take it as no, don't feel no evil eye towards that brother, man. Rejoice in that rebuking. Take it uh, as a man, as a man should. You know, it's, it's construction constructive criticism so even if that brother's wrong and you know he's wrong and you yourself didn't do what he's saying you did take the low road just take it because guess what in time Yahweh Shai is going to bring that to the forefront and guess what that brother's going to be like hey you know Salakia you you was right you know and it's going to be good right but this thing is done in order right and we are one body one spirit and we're trying to be one with Yahweh Shai as he is one with the father Right, so that, that kills that Trinity doctrine. That wipes that totally out the way. Because what are we, God? Right? This place was made for man. And everything uh, uh, was is, is under man's feet. Right? So is that saying that, you know, you, that you, you're trying to put Yahweh on the level of man? Because Yahweh Shai just said he wants the Akim, the 144 elect, to be one with Yahweh Shai, which is one with Yahweh. That don't work. We're not on the level. Our mind doesn't work like the mind of Yahweh. So we can't be on that level. But guess what? We're in that spirit. He He gives us this word and he puts it in, uh, and, and, and soon to come, he gonna put it in our inward parts. So that it's uh, like, like, uh, like when you sneeze and you say, excuse me, it's gonna be that quick that you know the law. It's gonna be in you, right? So so we're trying to become one with Yahweh Shah by doing his work and doing his will, doing the will of Yahweh. Uh, with that, you know, I'm going to wrap it up. You know, I just want to say, you know, brother, stay strong out there. You know, keep enduring. And if, if you got to be rebuked, take that rebuke, you know, and keep pushing. Keep pushing for this, this kingdom.